Hey everybody, Archangel89, back with our Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Today we're going to be covering Twilight Town. Now the thing about this is that, um, there's not much more to the game for Sora. I have two more worlds after this, and that'll be it. But, um, on the upside, that means I'll get to Riku's after that. So I'll probably be finishing the recordings today, and then going from there. Okay, so we've gone off by now if I had on. But yeah, so we're going to be, the next three videos for this will all be recorded, you know, on the same day. Um, after I'll be finishing up the compilation video for the key rewards. And then going from there. Now, I'm not going to be doing much grinding in this episode either. Um, mostly because I believe I have the deck to beat the final, to beat the boss of this area. So I just want to get to him as quickly as possible. The good thing about this world is that it's pretty short too, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Yeah, basically this is just this little bit about a memory he thought he had. <clears throat> We're going to see even more of this in a minute. Actually, no, it won't be this one. It'll be in a bit further. I wonder if it was like a mobile mobile thing or something like that. Like I'm trying to come up with a way they could have made that understandable for people. I don't know. Now I'm pretty sure Moogle Rooms get an upgrade here. You're getting an upgrade here or in the next floor. They started adding on the Moogle ribbon, which is basically the best pack you can buy, it contains the best cards essentially. But they are crazy expensive so a good chunk of my time after this will probably be like going back and forth between hundred acre wood and hollow bash and to get my money so but oddly enough I actually had a dream about Riku side of the game, which is why I really want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. I had a dream I was actually playing the part of Riku and I was like, I don't know, it had birth by sleep elements and stuff, it was weird. But yeah, as you can see, my deck's built with just warp in mind, and then maybe some extra stuff if there's too many waves. So, there's that. This is the deck for the boss. Nothing but, you know, fire raids. So that's nice. And this is the deck for one of the last bosses of the game, which I'll get to when I get to. Yes. In case you're wondering what I am doing, is I'm going to be farming for hopefully more key to rewards and that card. That is the last map card I had to get, I think. You can check my journal. Card index. Yep, that was the last map card. Yay! I don't have to worry about it ever again. 
Alright. So this is the floor they'll start appearing in. What those basically do is yes. they, they don't act like a RAM Joker where they can be like, Oh, fill any requirement. But instead what they do is um, they create any room. Like at random. But they still have to fit those requirements. So, just check. Okay. Yeah, see how short this world is compared to the old one? So, um, as you can see already, I know what I've got to do for that reward in this room. I believe in Riku's side of the game. Um, and they do change up a lot of stuff. Back off. And there's my reward card. Nice. Yeah, the thing about warp is that enemies don't drop experience. Proceed with caution. Back off. And boss enemies, as well as a few of the Come on. random enemies of the game. Back off. Yeah, Riku gets a completely redesigned uh, world set where, I mean, he gets all the same worlds as Sora does, but his are, you know, different designs, or different, um, his floors are different plans, essentially, so. What can I do? Well, I'm pretty sure there's a new reward card here, so. There's a new bounty. <clears throat> It'll be nice if I can finish this world off super fast. Whip. Deck two, because I have a feeling I'm going to get to that. I mean, I think I have enough cards at this point. I can just go there. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Twilight Town doesn't have much for its own stuff, but it has a lot of stuff for like previous ones. So. Oh, Warpinator! Nice. Basically, it's a targeting warp, so. Okay, you know, I'm actually going to check something out. I am curious to see if it does pop up or something new. Wow, so I need an 8 for a blue, a 1 for a red, and 20 green. <sighs> Gotta remember that for later. Also, I'm not going to lie, I wish I kind of come here instead of doing the previous uh, compilations part. Because I would have known. I've been able to be all, you know, oh, we only had to do this and that previous one, so. Okay, I'm just going to see if they have a new pack set. I'm not buying. Yes, these are new packs. As you can see, they have one of each kind. So, worst cards, second worst, second best, the best. And buy one of these. Four. 
for this card right here. I'll get those two. I want more nine mega ethers. Or yeah, more nine mega ethers, maybe some nine elixirs. Um Yeah. I'll sell some cards back in a little bit here, but for now, I gotta go down here. Okay. She has some sevens and eights that I wanna get rid of. So replacing them with the nines. Which yes, it increases the cost for my deck. But not by enough to worry. Actually, you know what? I have a nine elixir. I can throw that in here. Why not? Be overkill. Why not? <laughs> but there we go. Now there's no way, except for a zero, that he can possibly break my cards. Yeah. I unfortunately don't think I have a save room card, so I'm just going to create our com bounty, and then I'm going to run back, and go from there. I don't know, you know what? I have faith. I have faith. I have faith I can beat him. I know who it is. I know his weaknesses. I got his number. It's really gonna be frustrating as the boss comes after the next world. He's super frustrating. Actually, no. It's the boss after his world and the boss after him. Good suck. And by those bosses, I mean specifically the ones I have to go in, uh, complete worlds for. Ooh. Get rid of you. And... Get rid of you. And one last one for good measure. Yeah. I got another blue one just in case I need it, so there we go. What's sad is I actually have this, like, topic sheet now for, like, stuff to talk What's about, wrong? but I've been flying through these lately, Something so it's like, really I don't strange. even have time to talk about it. I am sure I don't know this place, but it's starting I guess to just in case there are moments where I get me. really quiet or something like that, so. You must have come here sometime before. No, and that's what's strange. It could be like with Nominate. You forgot lots of other stuff, and that's why you remember this place now. No, it's different. See, so we're starting to question everything. My memories sort of came drifting back. I still think Goofy's on the side of the organization. He's like, yeah, no, but there's not nothing wrong now. here, Sora. It's not <laughs> memories, just this idea that I must have been here before. So they're so doing Inception. Nostalgic. Wait, this game might come out before that movie, actually. Holy crap! Sora, a question then for you. Your memories of Namine or your I mean, I like Inception, here. don't get me wrong. I love Which that movie. Of the two of these is more real, it's a total mind wonder. blow, but... Namine, of course. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, I bet it's just another one of your mean little tricks. And it's also my favorite episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> well, my favorites, anyway. The memory's wiles can be cruel. In its silence, we forget. In its obsession, it binds our hearts. Cut the riddles! I told you. This place was created solely from another side of your memory. God. It and I got Samurai Jack season finale tonight, I the think. Memory of this place I got my DC shows ending next week. I it mean, this is, is a sad week for me. <laughs> You're wrong! I don't know this place. But on the if upside, I'll be able to finish this game, of memories, and refuse to including what is truly Riku side of things. And then once I do, I'm then happy. Then throw it away. You are not a Keyblade Master, just a slave to twisted memories. 
Yes. Exactly like my Riku. Your existence is worth nothing! Like your... Wow, dick. Riku? <laughs> worth nothing? That's enough! You're the one who changed, Riku! Every word you've said is a lie! I'm I've pretty never sure you just fucked heart. with the wrong dude, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna take you down and save Riku and Namine. That's what's in my heart. Ugh, that face. Could done without it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the this is the fight where he's searching the enemy card. Thunder. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Taste it. Back off. You imbecile. This is it. Back off. Come on. I got him. This is it. Yeah, all his slights are really low level, I think. So, or at least he doesn't use anything that beats them. So I have a, like a 26 here. I think he can make a 27, but he never does. Can I get through this without taking any damage at all? That'd be awesome. Yeah, like he'll probably use his own enemy card when he needs to. What his does is it um gives him a free, like, auto life. Like, if his HP drops to zero, he gets back, like, a point or something like that. Come to me. This is it. See? Very easy. So he might use it when he's, like, low on health or something, or when he has to... Ooh. That's not good. This is come to me. Ice blue. Yeah. But in addition to that, his, uh... Oh, it's not. I guess I had to take some damage. Come on. Come on. There we go. Dude, you might want to use your card. Just saying. You're about to die. See, I saw it. I saw the black card. He wants to use it. I almost feel like... Eh, whatever. Wasted opportunity, dude. I'm not gonna use your card either, though, so... Whatever. It is a good card if you struggle, but it's not necessary in this... If you make your decks the right way, you don't ever need his card. And if you leveled up the correct way, you're fine. Like, once you get to a certain point and start increasing your HP more or whatever, you'll never drop low enough to need it. So. I know I just said something about the HP, but I was like, yeah, I don't need it. Strength, even at the mercy of your memory. None of that matters. Just put Riku back. <laughs> just put him back. <laughs> I do love that reaction from the dude. He's just like, "Are you? Are but you one serious?" Fate to sink into the darkness, and you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart, and end up becoming Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia. What does Namine have to do with? Oh. Ow, dick! <sighs> uh, Axel! Yo, Sora. Did I catch you at a bad time? Uh, yes. <laughs> Axel, why? I came to stop you from talking too much. 
by eliminating your existence. No! Don't do it! We are just nobodies who have no one to be, yet we still are. But now you can be nothing instead of just being a nobody. You're off the hook. God, I love it. No! Please don't! I don't want to- Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, just something about that cold uh, snap of the finger, you're dead. What are you? What are you people? <laughs> don't know. I wonder about that myself. God, this game still gets to me. Like, I enjoy this game. Like, I enjoy it a lot. Wait, am I? Where am I? Oh, yeah, that's right. It just sends you to the respite. Because that's something else I need to tell you guys about. Actually. Yeah. No, it's better that way. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So, time to revamp my deck here. Um, since warp is not going to work on the next boss. In case you guys couldn't figure out who it is, I'm not telling you either. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm also going through and eliminating a low value, like combos. You know what, actually here. Just gonna do this. As we all know, well, since I know at least, that nines for Divine Roses are pretty much the best I can start with right now. I'll drop to eights. Like that. Luckily for me, these are all premium, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Premium means that, you know, like I said in the past, they specifically just don't cost more than the level ones to use. So. In case you're wondering why I'm okay with using the lightning element one, I have my reason. Just see. What else do I have that was good thrust? I have these. They're the next best thing. Okay, you know what? I gotta pull up my thing real quick. If it would let me. Look at the pumpkin head one. I guess I can do the fairy harp as a backup. Those things are probably gonna suck for combo, but whatever, I don't care. I'll still beat them. Wait, was Total Eclipse an Argo one for thrusts? I don't remember. Ah, here we go. Now we get to the fun part the finishers. So these are only gonna equal out to 24. 
Whatever. There we go. I did not mean for that to happen. Here, down here, get rid of you. See where the problem is. Um, hmm. Okay, start there. Get myself back in our nine. And I think. That'd be it. Alright. So let me see if there are any eights I can get rid of. sure everything I can put in my deck right now. Just drop an elixir on here. Uh, nine cure. Put the cures up top. Just because I think that way it'll be easier if I have to reload or whatever. This is the less fun part for viewing purposes. You know what? I'm not going to bother with that. I would need more than just the one. So. Just in case. Where is the or nine thing I want to put in here? <coughs> in case you're wondering, the reason why I stack the nines in here like that is just to boost the value of it so it's unbreakable, or it's only broken by something stupid like zeros. Which I don't remember if this boss has any right now, but we're gonna have to take that chance, aren't we? I didn't expect to get to him either until later, but whatever. I was expecting to start off like floor 11 or 12. 12. Start off floor 12 with his fight or whatever. We start off the floor 12 video with his fight, but he's going to be in the floor 12 fight, I'm sure, I think. Jeez, I haven't saved since Andre Gore. Are you kidding me? Am I insane? Alright. Whip. Bam. Let's go fuck up the next dude. Nice work. I say good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, didn't you? Not just Sora's, it was yours too. We weren't sure if you actually had it in your bones to take out a fellow member. 
Well, I guess that you did. It's time to join up. Taking over the organization will be like child's play with the three of us. So that's where Sora comes in. Of course. He wants to see Namine, so why don't we just give him what he wants? Rejoice, Namine. The time is near for you to meet the hero that you've been longing for. I'm glad. But I'm warning you. You better not do anything to betray Sora's feelings. Do you understand <clears throat> me, little one? I understand. All you need do is layer Sora's memories and bring his heart closer to you. Sora. Mm. Sad. Even if you come for me, what then? Yep. Oh, Riku! This is the boss. You'll hurt Naminé if you go further. Oh. You still want to fight? But Vexen's gone, so now you're free! It doesn't matter what happens to him. I'm protecting Naminé from you. That's what's in my heart. Sora, I made a promise to And here's to the Naminé. promise that I kind of skimmed over last time. Keep her safe. You did? There was a meteor shower this one night when she and I were little. <gasps> Naminé got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, if a shooting star comes this way, I will protect you. You made a promise with a toy sword. What? How do you know about that? Because that was the promise I made to her that night. I would protect her. I said it. Don't lie. You weren't the one there that night. You're the one who wasn't there. That was when she gave her good luck charm to me. <laughs> her what? <laughs> See? Nominee's uh, cheating on me? <laughs> where did you get that? Uh. Wait. Hold up. Sora. Good try. Huh? That must be a fake. I've got the real one right here. Well, two of them? I just realized what I mean, Curry Cup put in my deck. Be destroyed. Oh well. Dude, what the hell? I don't remember being that tough. But he's got a lot of zeros in this deck. Crap. Yeah, he's got a lot of them. <laughs> Wow. So, I'm going to go back to the title real quick. I did not realize he got that tough. In case you're wondering why I did that, it's because... There's an achievement to get through a game without continuing. Which literally just means do not hit continue when it gives you that option. So. You can basically cheat it by, uh, you know. Equip deck one. Because deck one's still a good deck. I just think I had to get rid of a few things. To make it faster to get down here. Get rid of these real quick. Let's see. Use this. This. There's that part taken care of. 
and then I gotta get rid of at least one combo, maybe. Because his combos don't have that high, like his cards don't have that high a value. But let me see if I've got enough of the enemy card to do it with. I got one. That would be a bad idea. Mm, let's try this again. Skip these. Didn't jump. I just went through it. The thing is, he has a lot of zero, and he will use that. I think I'm already doing better than I did last time. He got rid of his zeros. He's fucked. Nope, dude, you messed up big time that time. You no longer have any zeros. The best part is it lasts for two reloads. You're done. Get wrecked, son. You're the fake. Oh, I'm the fake, really. Mm. Yeah, these don't really matter. Mega potions basically do the same thing as mega elixirs for attack cards, basically. What those do is, um, if you use the reload Riku. option. Um, you know how the counter goes up every time you use it. Well, with the Mega Potion, it gives you back all your attack cards that couldn't be reloaded before, and then in addition to that, resets the counter. So it's, it's just not like really mine. useful. Kind of pointless. If you're using high potions anyway, it's like you've already won. This? It turned into a card. Here we go. Okay. So, this next bit's gonna be kind of weird. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Let's just keep moving, okay? It doesn't matter. It does matter. How can two of you have the same memory? You can't both be right! I'm wrong. Fine, then don't believe me. <laughs> That's not what he meant. We're just kinda worried. Then let's <laughs> ask Naminé. That should I clear it up. I think you're rushing us a little bit, Look, Sora. We don't have time to sit around, so let's keep go. here a little longer. <laughs> Crap. Sora, I what up. happened to you? What's that mean? 
Well, you always get real touchy when it comes to stuff about Nomine. But before we came to this castle, you didn't even remember what her name was. Now, Nomine, the only thing you talk about. It doesn't make sense. Maybe you should just slow down and think ahead about some of these things. Think ahead? What is the matter with you guys? Do you want me to abandon her? No, that's not it. Then do whatever you want. You can lay back and take a nap for all I care. I'm going to find Nomine. Sorry! You're all that he's got left. So then, if you don't stop this, no one will. But I... it's too late. You shouldn't give up just yet. Say, Namine, <laughs> have you noticed... Marluxia doesn't seem to be around. What are you saying? Just that there's no one here who would want to get in your way. <laughs> Just make it count. <coughs> now this should be interesting. Try and make it enjoyable, Sora. It's the least you can do for me, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm enjoying this. You guys are something else. Sora, that was no way to keep it to yourself. <laughs> I've had up to here with you, Cricket. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, next video will be covering Destiny Islands, and then the boss fight after that, hopefully. Um, just so you know, Destiny Islands and the Last World are kind of on the larger side. Um. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll just make sure something real quick. I only got 93. I can get rid of a couple of these. So, anyways, uh, remember if you like this video and you want me to have more views than maybe just you, I'm talking to you, Frost Z. Um, if you want people to enjoy it, you want you know more people to come to my channel. Don't be afraid to share my videos. You know, spread it on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. I don't know if you can spread it to Twitter or YouTube, but I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, why don't you go ahead and share it if you want to share it. Um, if you liked it, be sure to hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, say your prayers because the Archangel has come. <laughs>